This year, though, it's a very special spotlight uh, session. Uh, we are going to showcase our 2022 uh, Wayfinder Award recipients. So, yeah. <laughs> The, the Wayfinder Awards uh, recognize on an annual basis uh, a group of individuals uh, who cross science, uh, exploration, education, storytelling, technology, uh, and whose critical work is aligned um, with the mission of the society to illuminate and protect our world. Next up, we have Babak Tafreshi, an Iranian-American science photojournalist. Thank you. I look for beauty and wonder in darkness. Um, night the sky is almost like my second home. In fact, my wife sometimes reminds me this is my first home because I'm so many nights out of our home um, per year in the past 20 years or so. Uh, but you know, night the sky is giving a unique meaning to life on this planet. When you look at our own little safe island in the vast cosmic ocean. This is the only place we have. And it's also a great connection to our past, our origin, and destiny. But beyond these mystical and also science attractions, night sky is 50%, half of our nighttime environment. It's a great connection to us, but it's a vital, natural source to many species from night pollinators to migratory birds who are using the stars in order to navigate. And unfortunately today, views like this are no longer available to most of humanity because of light pollution. We live in major cities where artificial light is dominating our sky. City skies are almost empty of any stars, but this is not the only problem because our own light is affecting human body as well. Now we go from Chile and um, Atacama Desert to where I'm based in Boston, a view from a long distance showing moon revealing through these skyscrapers and revealing also how we are disconnected in today life with this natural part of the environment. The issue of light pollution is beyond uh, only a problem for a few astronomers or astrophotographers. It's a real global impact on life. And now since 2016, when the American Medical Association officially announced it's affecting human body, especially the white blue end of a spectrum, which is widely available in LEDs nowadays. Now we have more concern about how it's affecting us and many other species. But my story, in fact, it started with, with the moon, with the first look through a small telescope, much smaller than this, when I was 13 years old on a rooftop in Tehran, where I come from. And since that moment, where I can still remember, really second by second, my life changed. And I truly believe such very simple experiences, looking at the moon or a biological experience can change somebody's life forever. You know, for the next 30 years, I would set on a journey to discover new comets, to explore uh, eclipses, conjunctions, meteor showers, and then find out that there is also a problem, light pollution that is completely vanishing the night sky and affecting life on this planet. And for sharing this message, because light pollution is very abstract at the moment to most people never heard about it, I need your help in order to share this as a global true impact. We have to find a solution for it. Thank you. <laughs> 